Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the last video we have seen like how to start a BP event from the postman. Now we will go further and uh, we will write a uh, little bit more advanced uh, BP events. Okay. So let's just create a new BP event and what we are going to do is we are going to use uh, message events here and we are going to call one BPMN from another. Okay. Let's say this is the start of the BPMN and here we have the gateway. Okay. Let me just zoom in. And this gateway will have another event. Let's say we will just convert them to the message end event. So this is a start and this is the end, right? But we, what we want is we want to call another workflow, uh, right? So what we can do is we can call this as a message end event. So it can call message start event on the other end. Okay, so this is just a gateway. We will put some expressions. Expressions like, uh, okay, if service is coming, let's say the variable name is service equal equal to let's say uh, service one okay when this is coming this will execute when this is coming another expression if it is satisfying this condition and the another one is also expression it should be satisfying this service three so what we are saying is this is a like a master bpm and we can say Uh, let's call it as a master BPMN and this master BPMN is when we are going to call this master BPMN we, we will set some variables and what that variable will be the service variable while calling this so if service a we have the variable as service one it will call this event and we will convert it to the message and event message and event okay and we already have these expressions that this is being called for service one call service one similarly we have another which is called service two another service three just a use case of the api gateway sorry not api gateway this gateway uh, which is a bpm and element Okay, and what we are doing is based on that we are going to call. Now, this is the message event. So this is going to start another message event, right? This is the end, so it should, it should go to the message start event. So implementation expression, if you wanted to set some uh, value here, let's say, and we will we can actually create one message. And the expression is uh, what we can do is do we have any expression we can use this expression because whenever you are going to execute this i want to execute this expression set variable service one and the boolean value is service so we already have a service type here let's put another variable the variable name here is service okay now so we can see service type here and service type is type 1 okay this should be good and for this this is also an expression and i will set this service type to 2 and same for the third one this is going to point to the expression in service type 3 okay and they are all going to call another message events okay now we have to decide here what all particular uh, workflow uh, they are going to call let's call it as a service 1 action service 1 okay always remember this because this is useful this is saying this when this message event is getting ended it is going to call another message event start with the name message service one sorry action service one similarly we have this is action service two and then we have action service three okay 
okay i think all the ids are different so we are good here you can put a name here like calling action service one action service two calling action service three and every time we are setting some variable right service type type one type two type three now we can consider this is a master bpmn and this bpmn is going to call based on the input variables we are passing if service is service one then it is going to call another bpmn having message name is service action service one let's create another one so this will start with a message start event message start event now you can have a gateway here and might be executing some task let's call it as a user task because we wanted to stop here and see what variables we are getting is it executing or not and we'll call this end of the day i mean end of the event because our task is done and here i mean we can create a multiple user tasks user task 2 and here also we can create that ex that conditional expression if you are passing some variable 1 variable 2 we can actually check that so this is the message start event here it should points to an expression okay let's see this initiator is action service 1 maybe okay so here i need some initiator is action service one who is going to initiate this initiator here is action service one okay so we'll pass the same name here who is the initiator action service one we are good here now uh, you can put another conditional expression whatever it is let's say because we are setting some variable input right here before calling this service type so we can say service type this is going to be the expression so it is service type and what we are setting in the service type we can see from here type 1 okay service type is type 1 we are good so this will just uh, complete this and this is our child bpmn let's see so we have a master we have a child and this should stop here after getting this evaluated okay so this is our master let's just link this because we haven't created these two or other bpmns uh, which uh, is getting called action service 2 action service 3 i mean we can simply delete them i was just trying to show just a demo so we can just have a demo of this similarly we can create the other two action service 1 okay we can actually do one thing here if so this expression is service one if you are passing something else i'm not sure if it is equal to it is like this service not equal to service one then it should go to this flow and here we can have a user task to see Well, I mean this just for debug debug task we can put a user task to see check data okay it will come here if you are if you are passing something else in the service not service one then it will stop here and then we will manually complete this okay so just a simple workflow I uh, am just trying to show the message end event and message start event let's see uh, in the next video let's deploy this and see that in the real picture okay thanks everyone